Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Plants vs Zombies. I don't know what episode this is, but let's finish this adventure. And after that we're going to do a few mini games because I suspect that we're going to have a little bit of time left over. Sorry I had to pause that real fast, but... Oh, that is going to be a real pain in the bum. I don't think the umbrella thing stops that either. So this could be a problem. Where are you, Umbrella? Umbrella. Ah, here it is. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight, as always. Okay, so uh, we don't have my favorite, the watermelon thing, yet. So we'll have to make do with these two. Actually, this is going to be pretty rough, because... Uh, oh, boy. I think we're going to have to forget the Colonel Pult and go with, whoops, not this, but the squash instead. Okay, so let's try this out. I think we can be successful with this. Um, it's not maybe the optimal, but it's something we can succeed with. And we're gonna want pumpkins actually in the back rows of all, of all places. Or maybe it's the second row. I forget exactly where these, uh, um, when the main guy comes, he catapults his guy somewhere over here. I forget exactly where he lands, though. Okay, so... And we are spending an extra... 25 sun for our initial zombie kill. I'm just gonna hope that that doesn't impact the economy down the, down the road, but... We should be okay. So we'll start getting cabbage pulse as soon as possible here. So can we prevent this one from needing, I mean, basically, can we stop needing the squash for this one? I don't think so. Let's not even risk it. Let's just use the squash. And we'll use the um, cabbage bolt on the third one, which comes. Actually, we have a situation here where we can do this, this, and now we just focus on getting Cabbage bolt. And that should be good enough. And from here, I think we can... I assume our economy is going to be taking care of itself. We should have a cabbage bolt ready for whoever... Whatever newcomer comes. Like so. Okay, we have two at the same time. That was not expected. But we'll have the hundred ready to go as soon as... Ah, oh, well, I mean, as soon as the sun is available, basically. Hardly a discrepancy between when the sun was ready and when the when the actual plant was ready to go. And of course we missed place that one slightly. But good, no no damage has been taken so far, which is always good to see. And here we go, second row of cabbage bolts. And not enough sun, so let's actually hold out to get the economy going. This might be a squash situation. I think we'll just do the squash. We don't need the umbrellas until like desperate times, des desperate measures. I don't know if we even needed the umbrella uh, this time. I actually just remembered I forgot to close my window. Hope that, that might end up being a problem, but <laughs> we'll find out in a moment. I can just run over and close it right in the middle of uh, the level. That'll be exciting. Extra challenge, physical activity you have to do during the Plants vs. Zombies missions. <laughs> it certainly would make things interesting. I can do this. It's a bit ambitious, but I think it'll work out. Wait for one to finish. I think it resets the timer when the new plant gets put down anyway. And I kind of neglected that one, so we'll just do a squash for that. We'll get another one going. So they should have two rows all over the place. Uh, just as soon as this one is ready. There. Good. And here's our first wave. We have one more wave after this. Put this down, because if we need the other one, we need him available. Doesn't look like we'll need... Besides not just 
besides just not needing both, we didn't need either. <laughs> so that's good. Let's do this as well. Whoops. Oh, that's about to recharge though. Ah, okay, so this is the big one. Okay, so we need, first of all, that's the worst lane for that to happen. Um, I'm gonna put this pumpkin down only after I see where he gets launched. Oof. Oof. Okay. Sweet. Now we have to unfortunately bulldoze our own plant. Put that there. Did he count it as a bruise? I don't know. This is brutal. <laughs> this is brutal. Oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> he happened to come in the lane where I had both my double whatevers, which was just really, really, really unfortunate, but we'll see if we can salvage the situation. This is a fun little challenge. I haven't really considered us losing any levels. We've lost uh, two, I think, so far total. No, maybe just one on the roof. That was all really silly ones. We haven't, like, straight up been defeated. Like, we were just outplayed or, you know, it was just really simple things. Usually, like, this, I could take the same plants and beat the same level. Really with no sweat. Just the few cases that I've lost in and just been, like, not paying attention or neglect. Stupid decisions that sh just shouldn't be made, you know. Not normal gameplay, is what I would say. It, it wasn't game... I didn't have, like, a normal gameplay mission that I also lost in. I think. Probably gonna need the chomper guy here. Okay, we'll get a plant here. Here. want more of these. So our situation is a little messy, unfortunately, back here. We don't need anything in this middle row. We've got five freaking cabbage bolts. <laughs> I can assume that's enough. Three there, two, and a chopper. This one's the weakest one. We'll put one there. Okay, now we need to build up as much sun as possible for whatever lane on the bottom one. It had to be the bottom one. Oh, and what's more, they're actually gonna really decimate us with that. So we need 150 for the pumpkin. I assume he'll jump in the same spot. He didn't. Okay, this is actually to our advantage, I believe. Both of those should be hitting. Okay, it all comes down to just slowing him down. Even if we require him to just hit a plant, I'm gonna take that. And that's a lot of damage, I assume. Let's delete this, put one of those in. Oops. We can put it behind, um, in front of him, I mean. I think it'll kill him just fine. So I'm not too worried, basically. Should be dead now. And my favorite plant of all, the watermelon. Oh, it's a beautiful one. 100% the best plant in the game. So now we redo everything. We basically focus on super on the economy and we rely on the melon pole to do everything. And that sounds like we're asking a lot, but when you see this melon pole in action, you're gonna, you, you will believe, I will make a believer out of you. I think we're so much gonna rely on it, we're not even gonna rely on the chomper anymore. Because these do area effect. So let's look at the almanac real fast so you can see it for yourself. Melons damage nearby enemies on impact. There's no false modesty in Melon Bolt. Sun for damage, I deliver the biggest punch on the lawn. He says, I'm not bragging, run the numbers, you'll see. <laughs> it's beautiful, the, just the humor of this game. It's really, 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 really great. So the um, potato mine is actually going to help us get our economy going, but not only that, it's going to make a nice frontline candidate with um, 
considering we don't have the chomper anymore. Uh, kind of a bummer. Missed out a little bit on sun there. Okay, so let's get this. No, we wait for the fourth one. That's right. Now we get it down. Okay, so the next one that comes. Good. It's good, good, good. And we're right on track. Okay, so we have the plants hasn't plant production has not been slowed down very much. As soon as we get the rest down, we'll just hopefully very quickly get to double sunflowers, the twin sunflowers, I should say. And I think we'll be able to put to this potato mine in time, especially if we don't add another um, plant. Yeah, let's do this. Let's first actually do this. Wait for somebody to contribute sun. And as soon as they do, they get doubled up. You on the bottom. So it gives us sun, we reset the timer by replacing the flower anyway. I think that's how it works. It might not be, but... Anyway, let's start getting a second row. I think it'll be okay. But yeah, it looks like we're in good shape here. I'm gonna use a squash here, and we'll focus on uh, the potato mine for the next one that comes up. Come on, son. Actually, are we too? No, we're not. It's just taking a long time. Okay, potato mine there. We actually got to the point where we can use a melon pult. That's amazing. <laughs> Cannot wait, but I'm gonna use it on the next one, the next zombie after this, since we already killed this one with a potato mine. And I prefer to use it somewhere in the middle. Uh, I don't like doubling up like that, but okay, fine. I prefer to use it somewhere in the middle, not on the edges, of course. Because, and both of them come on the edges. <laughs> because they do um, do area effect damage, so obviously having them in the middle means that they can damage above in the lane above and in the lane below. I'll do it this way, I guess. Economy's already up and going, so we have to just hope for... Well, you know what? It looks like we'll probably end up putting a melon pole on the top anyway. He might just kill all those things, in which case we end up not using this potato mine, but... Okay, so... <laughs> Looking good so far, right? No, it's too late. We're gonna have to squash one and... Oh, gosh. we we'll use this as a defensive measure. And... We'll put a plant down as well. Not want to lose a pot. Good, okay, that worked out well. Whew. And once we have one in each lane, we'll feel pretty secure because we can get our... Um, umbrella's going as well. See, this guy's actually taking damage from the ones around him. That was a pretty aggressive move, putting that down, considering we have one coming in this lane that we can't kill. But the good news is, if we can get this down, it should be work. I could put a squash down, but I'm just gonna roll the dice that we can get. Come on, one. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this one anyway, since it's wounded. Now we have one in each row, and if there's a huge wave, this is actually the best time for that to happen, because uh, they just they clobber everything in the front lines so quickly. Probably ought to just pumpkin up here. I think we will. We'll just pumpkin up here. Don't know if this is a good situation or not. Just give him something to do. Oh. Got there just in the nick of time. Well, it's quite useful to have the, <laughs> the umbrellas, huh? Probably have missed some coins during this. Alright, this is all nice and tidy now. Put down the plotters, the flower pots, potters, whatever, planters, <laughs> uh, just to give us a little more hit points in a row. Buy us a little more time for the melon bolts. And we can actually start putting down a second line of melon bolts. 
This is where damage just ramps up to an extreme degree. You're gonna let them, that one just be taken. Fine, just have it. So this is good. We're gonna be in great shape by the time the next wave comes. I'm waiting for a plant to... Oh, there it is. Boing. So we're in pretty good shape now. Not too worried about, I mean, when you have this, this much going on, this there as well. Those are gonna hit that. You can see the, the middle ones took off the second from the bottom's lane's cone head. Took off the cone itself, which is nice to see. Probably should have put that there, but that's okay. We'll have enough back, ready to go in a moment. And I really ought to put another umbrella here, just in case these guys get targeted. Maybe that won't happen until the third wave, but it's just going to be so much damage output. And we have our trusty little potato mine there to secure that lane anyway. And we'll get a last pumpkin for our line of defense. Uh, I'm probably going to do this. Gonna let that one be taken. We'll move this. Put an umbrella there. And as soon as we have the money, we'll do the pumpkin in the last row. Now we can start pumpkin up. Oh, this is interesting. We didn't even kill the potato mines. So that's actually quite good news for us. Oh boy. Oh boy. Perfect. That was pretty necessary. We're going to need the next HP. These are basically acting as walnuts for us right now. The money's flying in, but boy, is it flying out just as quickly. You know things are getting intense when I'm not even speaking. A lot of clicking going on, and but we managed okay. Let's just put squash on this guy. It's gonna be difficult even to kill that guy in time, I think. Maybe. We'll see. And then we'll end up completing the rows of DPS with yet another uh, watermelon on each of the every other in the same line with the umbrellas, which will do damage to the middle ones in between, as I said, by just damaging the top and the middle. And we'll put a pumpkin on that since it is likely to take more damage anyway. We'll see what the final wave has for us. Lots of clicking, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. So we'll be prepared to eliminate these I mean, since this is the last way, we don't mind eliminating our economy. And we will want to get um, as many watermelons out as we as we need. Okay, so on the bottom, probably. Let's just probably immediately do that. Okay. Not sure which ones he's attacking. I think he's, well, the guy's already dead. Well, you can definitely tell that they put out a lot of damage. Oof. Homeowner, you have failed to submit to our rightful claim. Be advised that unless you comply, we will be forced to take extreme action. Please remit your home and brains to us forthwith. Sincerely, Dr. Edgar Zomboss, who is, I believe, who we face next. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't it. Up, up, down, left, <laughs> right.
No, Dave. Crazy Dave. We must fight to avenge Crazy Dave. Okay, so this is a, a pretty tough fight. But I think we can do it. We may lose. We This sincerely absolutely could be a loss. And if, we, if it's the case, we'll play again. Ah, <sighs> this one up in front. In this case, we actually don't want to lose. We do not want to lose any pots if we can all at all help it. So we'll save that one. We only want to. We only want to freeze when he comes down. We got to do freezing and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, we're about to take damage, so I didn't want to do that, but we really needed to. We are going to need some help in that top one. Okay, so let's freeze. And then jalapeno, jalapeno. And now where is he going to spit his ball? That's a pain in the butt, because <laughs> that row is just dead. Oh, too late. But I was able to freeze the ball away, so. You can see that uh, without knowing that that ball would be frozen, you'd be in real trouble. Oh boy, this is kind of sloppy. We're gonna have to hold a penny that one. Yeah, I think we will. With two in the lane, it seems to make sense to me. Oh, I muted just in time. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, it doesn't attack him unless I, it's in this lane then? That one does work. Okay, good. Got him. Is this... Get him? It does. Good, good. Oh my god, I used my jalapenos. Well, this is like the best lane that it could have come down. Frankly. And we'll need... Uh... Ah! No! Too late! It's okay. Should be doing a lot of damage. Oh, that's brutal. I'm gonna try to kill that guy before he can do a lot. Not in good shape, we don't have jalapeno, we don't have frozen. Probably I should just be taking the damage on some of those. Yeah, we don't have jalapeno to save this. That's okay, I think we're doing well. I mean, obviously, we haven't even used. Um, I'm gonna allow them to take those as well. We haven't used any of our. Oh, we only have them in every... Have we already used them? Okay, let's... We have two of these, let's use that. Okay, we need... I wish I could freeze him, but... Let's wait. Okay, good. Hey, do damage, plants. Do damage. All of your damage. It's pretty good. I think we're doing okay. Did we really use two of them already? Was I not paying attention? Oh, nothing you can do against that. Just replant. This might be more useful. Put both there, though. Here we have two. Several of each. Gonna do this. Ooh, let's just burn that right away. <laughs> this is <a> disaster. <laughs> hey, put that there. Got him. No! Got one of them. 
Are you still- ah, oh, balls. Well, we did a fair amount of damage there. He's about to drop his car on us. What a meanie. All right, let's get those wire melons back up in the rear. Managed to pull that one off. But, you know, the kernel pull is actually a better combination with watermelon than the other ones now. We have good. Let's just wait on that for now. Let's wait on the watermelon as well. I think I want to use this. We have another one, and let's get a kernel pulled in. Really want to use this. Okay, that was useful. We have two of these, three of them maybe good now, so let's do this. Do that. Let's see what he does. Okay. Do damage! Do all the damage! He's almost dead, man. I think he's really close. Okay, these plants are just gone. That's okay. We recovered pretty quickly. I think we're getting ahead overall, which is great. Surprising, but great. Uh, oh, shoot. It's the wrong one. It's fine. Not too big of a deal. Let's freeze him and just do a lot of damage. Buys us more time to bring in more plants anyway. Did we do it? Did we beat him? Quite. Yes, we did it. Alright. Still don't know if we actually put these up or lost two or what happened, but. Let's wait for this. Okay. Home lawn security earned. Okay, you win. No more eating brains for us. We just want to make music video with you now. Sincerely, the zombies. This, by the way, is an amazing music video. Copyright or not, I will let you listen to it. Because you deserve it. Sorry about that. So it's really a fantastic music video. I hope that my messing with the volume in the middle there didn't mess things up too much, but just go and listen to this music video yourself if you're interested. I'm going to turn the volume for it back down. I can't stop. It's so beautiful. <laughs>
I like your tricycle. <laughs> what a creeper. Dirt powder on my head. I'm gonna eat your brain. Where are the undead? We are the undead. We are so undead. <laughs> There's Dave. Give him back. Well, I have to say that was absolutely worth it. I'm not at all disappointed. Um, the actual replay, I mean the actual credits now scroll. I think George Fan is the one, maybe it's Todd Semple. One of these guys, he actually, I think I mentioned this already, removed himself from Plants vs. Zombies 2 when he realized that, uh, that uh, it wasn't going the way he thought it was going more pay to win, stuff like that. He disliked it, so. Anyways, more zombie, more items in Crazy Dave's, Crazy Dave's shop. Yeah, so we did get these roof cleaners. Um, pretty sure we have the, there it is. Probably the most important addition you can get is this. It's 200 more to make your catapults, uh, I mean melon pulse, uh, water, uh, frozen, whatever it's called, winter melons, that's what they're called. Oh, and you can put these on your kernel pulse to turn them into cop cannons. That's insanely powerful as well. Pretty funny. This allows you to duplicate two of the same plant. This allows you to, if you, for example, would want to um, put two walnuts down, um, maybe the, the, their recharge rate is a little bit too slow. So then you just put this, you get the second one, and you're not limited by the time it takes for uh, after each, after putting one down, the reseeding time or whatever. So we're back, but that's um, probably, we don't want to do that. Let's look at maybe it's raining seeds. I don't know if I've ever done this one. Oh, seems rough. Okay. Oh, interesting. So instead of falling plants, it's falling, I mean, instead of falling sun, it's falling plants. Well, this is going to be difficult, I have to say. Four waves, too. It sounds like I have a child who's not exactly content with life outside. Oh, cool! I didn't realize that. They actually slightly help. So I think my magnet thing is being eaten right now. That's really cool that it dispels a bit of fog. Oh, okay, I see what's happening. So that guy probably won't make it though, because we have two hitting him. Maybe, oh shit. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> Is it an early end for us? Maybe. Give me something quick. Don't give me lily pads. Oh boy, I'd hate for a guy who's like one hit away to make it, but he's gonna make it. Ah, wouldn't you, wouldn't you know it. Boy, that's some luck. Probably not a bad plan to have them very back, I mean, just because. This is interesting. I think you can actually put this in front of those, and it doesn't... But I think what we want to do is put this here. This exact reason, which was a little bit late. Had I done it a little bit faster, we wouldn't have this problem. Okay, nice. When he gets close enough, I guess the diagonal, the guy can't actually hit, which is good. Great, this is a nice safety mechanism. Hard to say where I want to put this. I'm gonna put it here for now. This there. This is interesting, very interesting. So that's gonna be extremely helpful. 
Let's protect this one. Uh, I don't really want a cabbage bolt. <laughs> Maybe here? I guess so. That's something useful. See this guy coming. This is kind of fun though. I, I think this is an interesting uh, game style. It's very much like the end boss. I mean, instead of having it stored though, we can't store it. Like this is an interesting one. What do you do when you can't store it? Well, you save it for this exact moment, I guess. And we're kind of silly, we haven't put anything on these. It's not ideal. Probably need to put this thing on those. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we're going to make it to the end of this one. I'm just going to hold this, why not, until the very last moment. Uh, okay, let's do this. It's very clear we're going to need somebody here. Yes. Thank you. Now I have partial vision, at least. That's an, an incredibly important one to keep. Oh, this is interesting. You I mean, kind of have to use it, right? Probably should have used it now instead. That's okay. Let's get something down on these... Something, at least. Okay, good. And the tall nuts, I'm not sure it's the best choice there. Oh, okay, wow, fantastic. Man, that, that makes me very comfortable. All, all things water related, a lot easier with that thing. And let's definitely put one in front of our lantern. I really want, still, another lantern would be fantastic. Vision is just so important. that there, because it's not protected right now. I guess we have this. We could put there. I'm just trying to think if one of those diggers comes up. Or we'll actually have a bit of a predicament. Now that I put that there, we're going to pull those that. I think I'll put this here. Put this here, just stop gaps. This guy's going to get pelted by that. Ooh, this is interesting. Where to put this? Maybe in the water. I don't know what we did there, but... It's more effective if we have a fire thing in front of it. Well, that's rough. Are they going to give us air things? No, they can't. I don't think they can. Seems like it'd be a little bit bogus. Ah, darn it. I should have at least used it, though. That escaped before I knew. Okay, they're going to take care of that fire thing. Please use the fire while you can. <laughs> this is really not necessary, but okay. got one lantern the whole time, too. Definitely protect those. Oh, well that's convenient. We got this guy in the right lane. Tough call here. I guess I put this one here. Um, okay, let's put this guy here. Check this. This is already protected. Oh, fine. 
Oh, amazing. I, have, well, I didn't even know that, but that's great. Let's get a few of those things. Put this down, I guess. Put, probably should put it lower. This guy's gonna run amok. That was a pretty good decision to get that one down just in the nick of time. Okay, whew. And this is uh, only the second last wave. Still have one more to come. This bottom one is gonna be a problem. Oh my god, no. Anything but my water gun. Got these guys just juggling them back and forth. I don't know what else to do. Just, just have no space left for lily pads. Lilies are not necessary any longer. Thank you. Cherry bomb. I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be able to save that. Just kill those things. Protect the lantern, basically. So this will be a fallback lantern, I guess. If we lose one of them, we'll at least have pretty good vision of the, the river. Okay. This one there. Should put this one here. That would make a lot of sense. This is defended. And this guy starts to go. It just juggles them back and forth. It's pretty funny. Uh, okay, we'll put this here, I guess. Not terrible. Seems still useful, at least. Running out of places, though. Yeah, so we should probably put this somewhere, instead of just not putting it somewhere, like last time. Alright, so anyways, uh, I think this is going to call this episode to a close. Uh, my favorite part of the whole episode was the music video. And if that wasn't yours, you're crazy. It's just a wonderful music video. So, what is next? I don't know. This might be the end of the series, frankly. I, I'm not really sure what to do, how to continue from here. Well, you can redo adventure mode and you start with all the same plans, which is, I mean, obviously, it's quite amazing. You really be at a, a strong advantage. Uh, but at the same time, we, we don't have... There's not a lot left to do. It'd be quite repetitive. So I enjoyed the heck out of this game. And this is the kind of thing where, if you made it to the end of this series, I'd love to hear your comments on what you'd be interested in seeing next. Do you want me to see me go through? Maybe I'll, I'll probably do one more video on the minigames. So let's let's uh, call this episode to a close here, and then I'll try to go through the minigames uh, in the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching, and take care.